Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. The direct inquiry email line for purchase questions concerning this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews. Straight from you to me and my crew, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing the new for 2019 Rescent's Type 5N, navy blue. This is Resonance's dive watch. It's been out for a few years, but the blue dial is all new. Let's re-familiarize ourselves with this 46 millimeter grade 5 titanium giant of the deep. Now, as you can see, it is a large watch. At 46 millimeters in diameter, the size is a bit deceptive as it doesn't wear quite that large. Being mostly sapphire and titanium, it's a very light watch. And at 15.5 millimeters thick, it's actually slimmer than I expected, considering it's automatic winding, water resistant, features a module on top of a movement and it's full of almost 40 milliliters of oil. So from lug to lug it measures 50.8 millimeters so it's actually fairly narrow across the wrist for a 46 and the spacing between the lugs is 24 millimeters if you want to accessorize but Resonance fits this slick natural rubber strap which has a little bit of a ribbing on the underside to vent the wrist and create an air pocket and then there is a simple titanium uh, clevis style counterweighted pin buckle and note the attention to detail here Resonance gives you a little hand on the tip of the pin that is the Resonance logo and it has a little hand and it sits inside its own little revetment inside the buckle. Now jumping back to the watch itself, let's take a look at it on my, my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. You guys know my wrist pretty well, so you can get a sense of the size. And it's a large watch. 46 is 46, but being less than 51 millimeters lug to lug, you can see it doesn't overstress the width of my wrist. And I don't have a wide wrist by any means. So I would say if your wrist is as small as 14 centimeters, it'll sit comfortably being as light as it is. You can also see how the shape of the lugs sort of arcs around the wrist. Ergonomically, it's excellent, but it's definitely going to be a part-time watch for those of you who don't like to wear large watches as a matter of aesthetics. Now, the timepiece is solid and substantial and rife with unusual features. As you can see, the case itself is almost just a narrow sliver of polished grade 5 tie. Very scratch resistant, so is the sapphire atop, and it's ringed by a unidirectional rotating dive bezel. This is the first ever Resonance watch as, as an extension of the Type 5 line that can be used for swimming. It's 100 meters water resistant, and it is set up as a dive watch of sorts, as you have a unidirectional rotating bezel, and you can see that the bezel sort of orbits around the dial. There is a luminescent pip, and I can rotate it to line up with the regulator minute hand of the dial and it is a regulator dial so you have the hours you have the minutes and then you have uh, what's known as the runner it's it's not precisely a constant seconds indicator in the sense that we associate 60 second dials with seconds this is a 90 second dial so it's your constant operation indicator it's just not necessarily a seconds indicator in the conventional sense there's also an oil a temperature and pressure gauge that effectively allows you to gauge how much stress your watch is under. As the temperature increases, the pressure increases. Uh, there is a bellows system built inside that effectively takes up the slack and also adds a little bit of slack when the fluid contracts due to low temperatures. My understanding is it's almost impossible to exceed the limits of the watch when the watch is on the wrist because the wrist itself will cool or heat the watch in extreme temperatures. So it's difficult for its internals to reach those temperatures. So if you get there, you're probably in as much trouble as the watch. The dial is navy blue, which means it's a very dark blue. It's also oil filled, the idea being the oil having the same index of refraction as the sapphire itself, you can read it easily from any angle. There's no distortion off axis as you would find on a conventional diving watch. Now because the oil is also incompressible, it is able to preserve the Resonance Orbital Convex System, which is a 142-part module that has 16 joules. It's basically a movement built on top of a movement. The base movement is an ETA-2824, and according to Benoit Mintians of Resonance, the founder of the company, the industrial designer who owns the company, you really only have to service the base movement when you send the watch in, because the ROCS planetary driven orbital module for the time and the temperature is permanently bathed in oil. It requires no lubrication or cleaning. So this is as simple as servicing a standard TSO. Now the ROCS system is very sophisticated and as you can see it is a regulator dial. So everything moves independently even as it rotates relative to the center. So you can see right here we are looking at 11 o'clock because the regulator hours are pointing to 11, the minutes are pointing to 60 or 0. So that is 11 right there and of course you've got your little 
little runner jumping away. Now the system can be locked because just as you don't want a dive bezel to move backwards and excellently extend a dive, you don't want the back of the watch. This is a crown. This is a crown-free watch. It has no crown, so it's set using the case back. You don't want that to move and again extend a dive for the same reason you don't want a dive bezel to run backwards. So what you do is you use the system on the flank of the case to lock the setting mechanism. Now I can't do anything with it. It's locked in place. I can't use it for winding. I can't use it for setting because it is an ETA 2824 in there. You can see the rotor. It is automatic winding, though you can use the case back for winding in addition to setting. For example, if you want to start the watch from a stop. Uh, the ETA 2824 beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It has 25 joules. Uh, it is a bi-directional winding system and it has a 36 hour power reserve in this application. That gives you just about everything you need to know about the watch. So we're going to proceed to the loom shot and believe me, if you're wearing night vision goggles, turn them down because this one will blind you. Loom shot of the decade coming up. The Resence Type 5 by Night. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing and purchase inquiries.